So I figured I would share this with you. I'm, I'm oogling over the different parts of the car because it's, it's still exciting. This hood is so neat. Um, you know, I'm looking at things like the, the painting edge, like how they, how they masked off, well, obviously the bottom part, but still were able to paint it. And um, it's pretty cool. There's, um, well, not that cool, but <clears throat> there's some marks over here. There goes the lens um, that were sanded down um, along the edge there. And then they were not sanded elsewhere. Um, and it looks like there might have been some sticker that was there, maybe from fax shipping. That's gone. And, um, and clearly, there is, these are two different types of carbon. That's a one by one twill. And this outer piece is something else. I don't know if actually you might be able to see it. If we go, that's the underside. If you go in here, yeah. So it's, what is that? It's like a four by one, maybe. Four, one? It's a different type of, of weave pattern. Um, so this is probably the underside. Yeah, this is the underside of, um, of, of that, obviously. And the top side with the clear coat looks like, looks like that, which is different from what's on the, uh, the hood. Um, and then this vent here, this allows air to come up. I measured it. it basically lands right around here and leaves a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a space. And so air seems like it comes up through what is even over here? Nothing, really. Technically speaking, it would come in through the engine bay and then escape up through this, this part, in through here, and out through the rest of the hood. Um, but it's just still really cool to marvel at person and, and, uh, and kind of see it. So I'm trying to share that with you. Uh, what else is kind of cool? Uh, the, these were produced on different dates. This headlight was done in September 15th of 20, and this one is November. No, September 9th. No, September 11th. There we go. I'm starting used to getting used to the Euro way of, of writing things. Um, the antifreeze. I had a conversation with a um, mechanic friend of mine who has seen over the years uh, less and less systems coming from the factory with the blue, the famous blue B&W coolant. And this one, oh, take my word for it, uh, it's green. And uh, I haven't seen any BMW coolant that is green that you buy, um, so I don't understand what's different from the factory fill versus the stuff that you get uh, after sales. Um, but that was interesting to point out. And there was a bit of, um, it looks like salt, but it could be um, coolant that dried, and it looked like it spilled, yeah, it spilled over a couple of different spots, so that's obviously gonna bother me, and I'll take some water at some point and rinse that off. Uh, but otherwise, it's just kind of cool to see all these components, brand new. You know, there isn't dust everywhere, dirt everywhere. Well, there is some dust. Um, but, you know, every all the connections are, are, are still good. You can see the stickers that are on there. And it's just kind of fun to, to see these things and take it in because <laughs> they're not going to be making many of these, number one. And number two, uh, like especially being at the factory the other day, um, looking at a car that rolled off the finish line 10, 15 years ago, and looking at its plastics and its condition, and it looks it looked brand new. Like these things are going to age; they're going to weather. Uh, you know, this this shiny plastic on here is not going to be so matte and clean and, and nice looking. Um, it's going to gray and dull out and all that fun stuff. So it's kind of cool, just appreciating all the newness, the shininess of it now. Um, I did notice this on the top of that stopper for the hood. Where's the bottom part? Uh, the bottom part. Where was it? Oh, where was that? Right here. So this piece, my finger is, this piece touches the top part there, and um, it looks like it's wearing down a little bit. Let me get it in focus. Like some of the paint came off. So I don't know if this is a piece that will rust, um, but I did notice that. And what else did I notice? Um, well, that was kind of really it. Otherwise, I'm looking forward to getting familiar with the various bits of the car, uh, like... Uh, maybe replacing the air intakes with a dine in one at some point in time, um, and also maybe changing the charge pipes to uh, something else.